everybody welcome back to another video and the land of waterfall the Chiraponji this is also the second most wettest place in the planet Earth and uh, last few weeks back I have visited this waterfall called the uh, Tinram Fall uh, that is the, the tallest waterfall in the Chiraponji now I have decided to come back this waterfall because the two weeks back I have visited uh, the condition was not uh, uh, good enough to photograph as, as well as the sky was boring and little hazy. So this time I ho uh, hoping that uh, uh, I'll be getting a little better uh, weather condition. So I decided to come back uh, waking up at uh, around 4 morning. Uh, and it took around uh, two hours to visit this uh, waterfall. So I am just near to the waterfall and uh, hope I'll get uh, the better photograph this time. So let's see what I can find in the waterfall. The situation is almost kind of a similar. The time, the last time I have visited this waterfall, the sky looks flat and dull, and uh, this low-lying uh, dark cloud. So the sky is very flat right now and uh, can't uh, compose, including the sky. So my plan is, I will use my telephoto zoom lens, 100 to 400 mil, and I'll try to. A kind of abstract from this waterfall, uh, focusing on some of the uh, waterfall with some rocks, the patterns of this uh, rocks as well as this waterfall. So I'll try to focus more on the abstract shot, abstract kind of shot with the telephoto zoom lens. And when this sky clears up, I will uh, try to compose from top to bottom, including the sky as well. So I hope uh, this sky will uh, get cleared up soon. So let's see what I can find with the uh, telephoto zoom lens. I have this uh, Sigma 100 to 400 mil. Uh, luckily I bought this uh, telephoto zoom lens. Otherwise this waterfall, most of the time, I never uh, bring this uh, telephoto zoom lens. So this time, luckily I bought this uh, telephoto zoom lens. And let's see what I can find and how I can compose. Okay guys, uh, right in front of me, I have this uh, waterfall right now. The waterfall is so tall that uh, I have to incline my telephoto zoom lens almost around 60 degree towards the top of this waterfall so that I can cover this uh, top and reach the top of this waterfall. And you can see right here this uh, waterfall, the top of the waterfall right there. And the sky looks completely flat. There is no color in the sky. It's, it's very hazy. So I try. I'm trying to cut off this uh, waterfall and composing right, uh, right here. And for me, this composition looks okay. And if uh, required in later on, I can uh, uh, compose in better way by cropping the image. So for now, I'll take this image at uh, f8 iso of 400 and shutter speed of 1 by 100 with the circular polarizer on and around uh, 150 mil so if this image turns out to be any good here is a shot
Yes, uh, there are lots of uh, cascades running uh, by the side of this uh, main waterfall. So what I thought is, uh, I will uh, focus on this uh, small cascades in the bottom of this waterfall. And now uh, I'll, to I'll try to find some composition in front, in the bottom of this waterfall. Let's see what I can find. Okay, this time I have a frame with uh, another lens, 24 to 104 lens, and this is a mid zoom le zoom lens, and I am focusing on the rocks and the water splashing on the rock, and it's quite a tighter shot, and uh, the setting is uh, shutter speed of 1 by 8, ISO of 100, and Aperture of 13 with the circular polarizer on. The water is splashing quite a lot. The droplets are coming and hitting on the lens. So quite often I have to clean this lens. And the uh, frame looks quite okay for me and it might uh, give a better result after the post-processing. So. If this image turns out to be any good, there is a shot. When the time is right and I'm not alone, I will conquer this and bring you home. And this world has stopped. When the time is right, I sing And right here is another cascades. Probably it's a kind of a seasonal type. Uh, last few days uh, there was a lot of rainfall. So these cascades uh, we have never seen before when we have visited the Kindram Fall uh, last year. So probably during uh, this uh, rainy season, because of the heavy rainfall, these cascades might have appeared. So this cascades looks uh, uh, quite uh, promising and I'll uh, uh, move in the, uh, around this waterfall and trying to find out some composition. I want this foam to form a kind of a swirl in this uh, foreground area of this waterfall. So it will uh, need an MD4 filter or MD6 filter to be put on here so that I can uh, uh, take as slow shutter speed uh, image so hope I will get uh, a better image with this uh, ND filter so I'll put on my ND filter so after putting on my circular polarizer and the ND4 filter I'm getting the exposure of 1.3 seconds at uh, f13 at uh, iso of 100 so let's try with this uh, exposure of 1.3 seconds whether do i get this swirl pattern in the foreground or not then one day when the sun is out i'm a hear you say that you're okay That it took some time To lose the fear But now you're grateful And singing alone hey, oh. Singing alone hey, oh. Singing alone hey, We're singing a song kind of scenario where the, the sky is not uh, looking good and uh, light is not coming in. I have decided to focus most, mostly on the waterfall as well as in the, uh, the beautiful rocks, the splashing of water uh, at the bottom of the waterfall. So the composition I made are all 
a bit tighter as well as in a, a, a vertical orientation. So that is the idea when I go out for the waterfall photography. If I don't find any of the sky contributing much in the frame, I always try to uh, cut off the sky. Hope you have liked these images I have taken and the video as well. So hope to see you in the next week in the next video. Till then, bye for now.